Hello guys, welcome to part 71 of my Let's Play of Paper Mario. Uh, hold on, let me go ahead and um, change my partners a bit because I feel like I should need a better stuff. Also, I'm going to change my badges a bit. I'm going to disable all of these really quickly I'm going to reorganize them. Okay, uh, Mega Smash, obviously. And, uh, Power of Mash, just in case. Um, let's see. I guess I'll activate Dodge Master. Flower Saver, Power Plus. I feel like you should activate Pretty Lucky. But, nah, not going to. That'll be too easy. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and uh, we'll meet up with our next scene, so let's do this. Alright, so let's walk away to... Hey, 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 hey! Bruh! Ha ha ha! Bruh! I've been waiting for you, Mario! I've been here forever! I was getting desperate. I thought I was gonna freeze. This place is freezing and cold. And nasty and icy. I hate it. I can't take it anymore. I gotta get out of here. And I'm going to beat you up. In record time and head back to my... To some place warm. You ready, Ice Boy? So, once again, we have to face Koopa uh, Jr. Troopa. Oh, I've been busy, Mario. I learned cool techniques. Check this out. Ah ha! Look at this piece of work. I've been taking a little magic course on the side. And now you're gonna be my final exam. Yeah, I've gotta win this time. Okay, so it seems to be, seems like now he's learning magic classes now, so let's go ahead and face him off. So, we're going to start off with a magic smash. 10 damage, that's a lot. Alright, so let's activate Cloud9 so he'll get a less chance of missing. And even if he missed, then I will at least take some less damage. Mario, you like magic tricks? You won't like this one! Ha 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 ha! That felt fantastic! I just keep and getting better. We'll see about that, Junior Troopa. Let's do another magic smash on him. So let's go ahead and do another of this. Missed! Haha. <laughs> now, he doesn't just attack, he can also heal himself. I think he'll just heal himself right after this turn, I'm pretty sure. Or not, he'll just miss again. I have no idea how much health he has, but I think he should be almost dead right now. Yeah, he's dead. Very easy fight. But he could potentially heal himself at time to time if you don't kill him quick enough. No! Yeah, I like that now, buddy. Well, buddy, you better step up! Now, here's a little cool little fun fact. If you leave this area and then re-enter in here... Look at this, he's now a block of ice. He's, he's now, he's now frozen solid. Okay, if you hit this three times... There'll be a letter underneath there, which goes to the Mayor Penguin in Shilva City. 
This is also the last letter of the whole game. Actually, it may, may be not, but whatever. There's a little thing behind here, and it is repulsion gel. I'm gonna get rid of the useless items. Actually, I feel like I should use them for a little later segment, so... Uh... You know, they're not really good anyway, so might as well just get rid of that. Okay. We meet up with an Ice Piranha. And let's go ahead and fight him. We have two new enemies here. Actually, I feel like I should just fight him at least alone, so... So that way, I don't have to show too much. So you know what? I'm gonna run away. I want to fight him separately. At least one of them separately. Is this one? Okay, yeah, that works. Anyways, um, here we meet up with a new enemy, which is a Icy Piranha. Also known as... Okay, I'm gonna use regular attacks on him. A Froth Piranha. They're ice ones, and they can freeze you. If you're not careful. He didn't try to freeze me though, so just a normal hammer attack and he's down. But yeah, and there's another layer behind here, and it's for Merlot at Shooting Star Summit. We'll get the last few letters near the end of the chapter. Well, not near the end of this chapter, but near the end of the last part of the whole entire recording segment. Anyways. <laughs> Turn back, come no further. Turn away, or I'll eat you. What do you think, scary monster, aren't I? You know, you want to run? Oh boy, I'm shaky. But, I don't care. I'm gonna fight you. What? You want to practice? As for the looks of this monster, you think it's gonna be hard. Here, I'm just not gonna bother to attack. I'm going to see what he can actually do. Oh god, I had one- I'm so hurt, I just got one hit damage from a gigantic snow monster. Are you scared? Yes. That didn't even hurt much at all. So you know what? Maybe I should get my friend Goombario to analyze you. This monster, even I don't know what it is. I don't know why, but it looks really terrifying. I get the funny feeling I had a nightmare about it. Max 20 HP, defense power 0. I don't know its attack power, but it may be very powerful, judging by its look. Uh, no. Not even close. Ow! That hurts a lot! Oh! Your puny attack of the at all! Give up, sucker. He literally isn't much of a big fret. Here, let's do multi bound just to rub it in his face. Oh, 
Oh, he has two HP gem, darn it. Whatever. Ow! Why did you do that? This, this is your only chance. This is literally one of the most pathetic boss fights, even if you look terrifying enough. It's useless. You're not even trying. I'm in- Oh, I'm so embarrassed of you. No! Run away! It's just a ten- It's just like 25 freaking star- Star kids trying to protect his own town, because- Well, because they didn't want to see- Because they didn't want- Whatever. They're just trying to do something to not need, I guess. Ah, you're Mario, yes. Thank you for coming. How do you do? Call I'm called Murray. I care for the saw kids born here in Starborn Valley. There are many things I must tell you. But not here. Come, let's go in my house. I cannot concentrate out here in that cold. This way. Please, follow me. I must apologize for the rude reception of the Star Kids. None of us expected that you'd come here so quickly. They are frightened strangers to try to keep this valley safe from Bowser's followers. Please, you must forgive them. Oh, I forgive them. Come in, please. Now, Mario, you must heed well what I'm about to tell you. This frozen area is called Starborn Valley. It is named this because it is here that stars are born and raised before rising to the sky. But now, ever since Bowser stole the star rod from Star Haven, the power of that place has weakened the star kids, have found themselves unable to rise up into the sky. I've sent a ninji to my father, Merlin, hoping that I could Co um, coax you to come here. Because I have found out where the last star spirit is, it came to me in a dream. A vision of the last star spirit begging me for help. If I, if my vision speaks truly, then the last star spirit is being held on top of a mountain, which lies to the north. Up to the sits of Crystal Palace, the Star Spirits awaits there. The Crystal Palace was originally built to honor the stars, but as time passed, it slowly faded from the memories of the local people. And now no one can remember how to reach the palace. This is a way fought and involves items that have been passed down by these lands. Here, take this. You got a scarf. An ordinary scarf from, from Merle to Starborn Valley. This scarf has been passed down through many generations in Starborn Valley. I wish I knew how to use it, but I do not. According to legends, you must use this and another item that has been passed down by Shiva City if you hope to open the way to the Crystal Palace. Sadly, that's all I know. If things remain as they are, Star Kids will never again be able to rise to the Star Haven. Such a fate would be awful. Please, help them. I expel Bowser from the sky. Sure thing. 
Alright, now, I'm not going to leave yet, because if we look in our items, we have some letters. Um, this one, we can't get to right now. We, however, can give this one to Merlo. Actually, no, we can't. We have to give it later. But, we have to give this one to Frost T in Starborn Valley, and we're here in Starborn Valley. So, let's go to Starborn Valley. Actually, we are in Starborn Valley, except... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yes, Mario. I almost forgot. There's supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along the path to the Crystal Palace. A legend has been handed down in the valley regarding the shrine's secret. Truth lies not only in the eyes. Sometimes even walls may lie. Confusing, yes. But you must find the shrine and solve its mystery to reach Crystal Palace. Don't forget it. I see a star over here. You found me. <laughs> what? Did you see me glittering? Hey, do you think I can arrive to the sky soon? I'm sure hope you will. Anyways, let's go over here first. Are you the toad I want to talk to? No. Must be this toad. You know, I might want to nap for a bit, so because, like, well, I need to refresh my health and somewhat, so I might as well. Might as well rest first, then we'll deliver the letter. No. Okay, no, it's not this toad. It's a completely different toad. Frosty, it's a completely different toad. Maybe it's this one. No. He's in Starborn Valley. That's one thing for sure. And he's a toad. Are you are you Frosty? Yeah, you're Frosty. There we go. Another letter duly delivered, as Postman's job is never done. Well, thank you. Ah, uh, how nice. It's a letter from Little Dainty and Minnie T. Both naughty little rascals. When I visit their home, they were always up to something. They do write me letters often. It's nice to get letters. Their mail makes me so as happy as... As mail from the from my wife and daughter. Oh yes, I almost forgot. I need to. I need a letter delivered. I like you to take this letter to Goomba Pa in Goomba Village. It's actually a reply to a little Goombar. It's to a little Goombaria, but I. But I think her dad could explain it to her better. Drop it off whenever you have a chance, alright? And thank you so much. And we are going to be going go full circle by giving this letter back to Goomba Pa, which we're going to have to do after, after this chapter. Anyways, that's it for part... That's it for part 71. See you guys next time for part 72.